Hello everyone. Welcome to the video lecture series of mobile application development. In our previous session, we have seen what do we mean by the layouts, how the view and view groups are arranged together, as well as we'll talk about uh, the linear layout. We have also seen about the linear layouts. Example is the vertical and horizontal orientation. Now, now it's time to check the another layout that is known as relative layout. Hi everyone. This is our instructor Janice Shah. So let's begin with the relative layout understanding. The very first point of the relative layout is that in the relative layout students, what we are going to do is we are just going to arrange our view component relatively to another component. Suppose this image in a situation that if this is my layout, I'm going to put a one component over here, then I need to specify for the second component that it should be on the top of that, bottom of that, on the right side of that, or on the right side of the parent, on the bottom of the parent, or your type of position it contains okay then i need to specify first so here for each and every view component students you need to specify the position of that so relative layout is a very flexible layout that is used in android for the custom layout designing it allows its child to position relatively to each other as well as to its parents on another container this layout is specifying for the position of the element in the relation to the each other element at the present time. The relative layout is a view group that displays the child view in a relative position as well as the position of each view specified relative to its sibling. Suppose in this particular layout, this image in situation, the text button 1 is over there, text button 2 is over there, then I need to specify the text button 2, it should be on the right side of text button 1, then it goes like this. If I told it on the above of the text button 1, then it goes like this. Fine. So, this is how students you can arrange the text view or any view component in the relative layout. Fine. So, what next? The relative layout is a very powerful utility to design a custom user interface. Now, the relative layout, see, this is view 1 students, which is on the left side and the top. This is a starting position. Always remember in the relative layout or any other layout, the starting position is like a 0, 0. Okay. This is the starting position of the particular view. This is the top left. This is the top center. This is the top right, we can say. This is the bottom left. This is the bottom right. As well as students, you need to specify the layout that on the above or below. So this particular view is on the above of this particular view component. So you need to specify according to that. Now, the attributes of the relative layouts. There are so many various attributes that we can set in the relative layouts. Like the first one is layout underscore align parent top. What happens? This attribute aligns your view component at the top of the parent. Always remember this is uh, returns the values in a true or a false. That's why we need to set in the boolean only. So we specify the true true. The top edge of the view component will match the top edge of the screen. Now on the for the bottom, align parent bottom, the bottom edge, we can say bottom edge of view components is matched with the bottom edge of your view. Align top parent left. This image is student now. This is my screen. Now what happens? Parent left. The true, then the view will match the left edge of the parent. If this is my parent, then it will match the left edge of this particular parent. Align parent right match the right edge of the parent. Center in that's that will align the particular view in the center part. Center horizontal that set the view horizontally center. If I put if this is my whole screen, if this is my whole screen, then in this whole screen, students, I'm going to specify the view at over here at that particular position. Then it will set horizontally center. That means over here. If we can say vertically center, then if I am set over here, then it is a vertically center. That means oh, it should be over here in this particular vertical manner. Fine. Center vertical or center horizontal. The next we have like above, below, to left off, to right off, to start off, to end off. Here you need to specify the ID. ID of the another view component. Like layout underscore above. Above of which ID? You need to specify over that below on the left off, right off, and end off. So, what we are going to see today that is the output of this like we are going to take up seven buttons 
button one, button two, button three, button four, button five, button six, and button seven. Each and every button should be uh, set like this. Like button one should be like top left. Button seven is is on the right. No, it is on the right side of button one. It is on the right side of button one. Button three is the center left. This is horizontally center right. This is the center in. We can say this is the button six is on above button four. This button four. The width is match parent or match contained. Okay, wrap contained or match parent. This is a match parent width. Is. Okay, this is all about the buttons. The width is match content. Okay, I can say wrap content. So let's see the program for that. So this is how the relative layout will set. I'm just giving the some padding and the right and left padding. So we'll get the better output for it. This is the button. This is my button one. ID is BTN one. The color is already given. It should be aligned at the parent left. Then button two. So button two is aligned such like that. This is button four, button five, button six, and button seven. We'll see this each and every little layout program perfectly in our this session. So let's see the program for relative layout. So students, this is our same file as the linear layout. I have just created another relative layout example over here. So here it is. See, this is my relative layout file. What I am going to do is, I know that how to set the data. Okay. So let me just open up the view. Okay. Let me just keep it little big for you. Fine. So here it is. Say this is my screen. So this is my button one. I want to set the button one at the align parent left true. Now let me just change it. Align parent left true. Instead of it, if I want to set like align parent end true. See the button one is aligned at the parent end. Fine. So we'll you can easily check your design while doing the particular code. Okay, so let me just remove this and uh, set the previous one like align parent left true. Wait. Start. Now, what about the button number two, students? See, button number two is should be on the left side of the screen centrally. So it should be like align parent right. True. Sorry, button number two is here. Okay, so align parent right true, and the layout centrical vertical. So why the center vertical? So this is my center. Okay, this is my center according to the vertical center. Fine, students. So when I put my button over here, okay, align parent right true and the center vertical true. See if you want to set center horizontal, right? See layout center horizontal true. So button two is goes like this. Align parent right instead of that. Let me like align parent align left. True. No. After that we just need to specify the ID. So let me just set align parent left. Then true. So it will take the position of button one. Fine. Center horizontal true. Then align parent left. True, but we cannot give two things together. Align parent left and center horizontal doesn't make any sense. So let me just remove it. Okay. So what we need, we just want our button two over there. So let me just remove the whole code. Okay. So this is the final code. Align parent right true. Align parent center vertical true. What about the button three? See. What about the button three, students? Button three is over here. Okay, on wrap side of the whole screen. So it goes like this: align parent left for button three, align parent left true, center vertical true. Now for button four, button four is on the bottom of the parent. See, bottom of the whole screen. So align parent bottom true. Okay. Now what about the button five? See, this was button five is a center in. We can say. Okay, so it's the center horizontal on the right side of the align bottom. So the button five is set to the align bottom to the button two, and the on the side horizontally center. Now when you talk about the button six, 
it is set center horizontally true and above the button 4 okay so that's why we need to set the above bt and 4 as center horizontal true when button 7 button 7 button 7 is where see button 7 is on the right side of the button 1 so we can also align parent right true as well as uh, right of bt and 1 and end of bt and 1 we can also write like this so if i am removing the end of bt and 1 so it, it doesn't, doesn't affect right side of the bt and 1 then c the wrap content that's why the button 7 width is just goes like this if you want to match the width you can also change from the wrap content width to match parent it will occupy the whatever the remaining amount of space instead of button 1 okay so that's why we just need to write line write now write down like this wrap content and then on the right side of btn1 okay now let me just run the activity if you are if you try to run the activity students you will get the same output so i am not going to run it again fine because you will get the same output that is written in the uh, shown over here because students we need to specify the position of one and well, view component in the respect to the other view component fine okay so that's it for today's lecture students if you have any doubt then please feel free to ask me thank you so much